Chop, chop, we slaying it. Chop, chop, like a guillotine. Chop, chop, we slaying it. Chop, chop, like a guillotine. Now you know what I mean. It's <laughs> shag. Get it, get it, get it. And welcome yeah. for this new video of Mauritian girl around the world. So last time I promised you something new and as you can see I'm with someone but who is he? So let's discover who he is. Would you like to present yourself? Uh, hey guys, what's up? It's your boy A Shaq. Yes, sir. Back in this heat I got a mass reserve. Always forward like pops. So as some people in Adelaide might know me, I actually am signed a rapper with Avonstar Studios and I do gigs every now and then. And yeah, that's about it. And so basically, you're here for this video because, um, of course, many people know you here in Adelaide, many of the party people. So um, I would like to know you a little bit more. Would you like to maybe start uh, from your background? Like, what are you doing in Adelaide? Where are you from? And maybe what do you like to do? Like, your hobbies and all these things? Oh, well, um, well talking about background is an interesting story. I'm actually um, Indian and African by descent and um, I moved here around six years ago and I'm an Australian citizen as well so I'm kind of a screw up <laughs> and also um, I actually study at Adelaide Uni as well at the same time which is kind of unusual for what, the, what sort of profession I've chosen. So for how long have you been into the world of music? Well I, I started like just scribbling lyrics when I was 15 so that was like around about six seven years ago and I, I didn't really I didn't really see it going anywhere it was just a hobby and I just had a friend who used to record this was back in India he used to record music and he's like oh I, I wouldn't mind having an English rapper on my tracks and when I was um, like when I was about to turn 16 and I, he just told me to put get on this track with him and I just wrote my first lyrics and I made my first track ever and that went off and it was after that I was like yeah I might as well get in this line a little bit and then when I moved here I quit for a while then I got back into it so sort of it's been on and off for seven years so yeah. sorry it's kind of windy here as you can see it's coming, it's coming <laughs> no, up soon um, the scenery. <laughs> yeah so tell me like what pushes you into music what influences you like you oh. said you wanted to give it a try but like how did it happen well well, I, well, I was I was faced by a lot of challenges growing up as a like you know African kid in India. It's very unusual, and people over there they're not used to seeing people like you. And I thought music was the only way I could really express myself. And um, and it's it's it's, it's just um, it's just something that really took me away from the reality. You know what I mean? And I felt like. It's that that's it. That's that's my hobby and this is what I'm compassionate about. This is I, this is what I enjoy doing, so that's why I love music. And do you have any artists who you admire or who inspired you? Well, there's a lot, but recently I've been really into Big Sean's music and I believe in the pinnacle 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 of rap music or the hip hop industry at the moment. I, I really, really look up to it. So, since you are studying and you're also in music, once you get graduated, what would you like to focus on the most? To focus on your music career or uh, to focus on your new new job? <laughs> nah, it's sort of hard to say, but I'll, I'll say I'll do kind of both at the same time. It's like, because I can't put all my eggs in one basket, sort of. I'm, I'm a very careful person with where I go in life. At the moment, I'm mostly, obviously, studying. Studying is mostly like my plan A at the moment. Music is plan B, but music is working out good at the moment. So, if it, if I if it obviously go gets to a certain point, I will make the whole switch to music. But at the moment, I can't say much. Yeah. So, um, you told me earlier about your music producer. Would you like? to tell people more about him and he might it might also be a good reference for people who are in Adelaide and who would like to go to our music and who are actually looking for a music producer like how you got approached. Yeah. So uh, um, well Tim Tim is an amazing human being like what should I tell you about him? He's an Tim entrepreneur who? Tim Latte. <laughs> Tim Latte, okay. Yeah. It's, he's an entrepreneur, he's He's a music producer, he's an events organizer, events promoter, and okay. then 
he also does my photo shoots. He's, he's like a one man army, like literally. He's, he's so um, something much more personal. I know that your mom is more um, towards classical music. If I'm not wrong, what does she, what does she think about you performing? Like something completely different to her own world, like. Just tell us more about that because you know how some parents can be sometimes like right. you're expecting their kids to be more like what they really do so yeah that's that's true uh, yeah my mom's actually a teacher and she has a phd you would expect her to expect me to have like you know a, a like degree that i can't even name or like you know what i mean like be all into studies and stuff but like she's it's, it's not really like that she's very supportive and She's always told me, do whatever you actually want to, you know. And it's very unusual for an Indian parent to say that. They usually be like, no, you will not get curry tonight <laughs> if you don't do your homework or something like that, you know. But nah, um, she's, she's actually very supportive, man. She, even though she doesn't really understand my music, but she, she, every time I play it for her, she just laughs and she's, that's it. So before we close this video, um, actually, um, there was someone who was supposed to co-host this video by my side, but she actually came late. So let's see who she is. Do you want to come, please? Yep, that's me. So here's hey. Maureen. So would you like to just present yourself to our viewers? Yeah. Um, hey, everyone. Um, my name is Maureen. Maybe you can call me Gray. And yeah, I was supposed to co-host and I, oh yeah, because of my hair, she put my hair out. Oh, yeah, the call me Gray. <laughs> Yeah, so I was late, thanks to someone else. What I understood is that you didn't come alone, is not it? Would you like to present oh, us your yeah. best friend, maybe? No, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> like the guy no behind why we're late here is right here. So this is the guy. Let him introduce himself and tell us why he took one hour to get ready. <laughs> Hi guys, uh, my name is Kelvin, Elias Bolivar. Um, I was in What? Okay, fine. I'm okay. just having your bag. Okay, sure. so. uh, and thanks again, Ashak, as well, for coming. And uh, we actually wish you the best of luck yeah. for your future projects. And as for my viewers, oh my god, that's so strange. So, as for my viewers, um, I see you next time for a new video and it sounds something more like Made in India. I'm not gonna sing the song because I'm a very bad singer. So, we see you next time. Bye! Bye.